This is my house up in Seattle, Washington. And this is the largest U-Haul size that they offer. And we need to move all of this stuff into that truck out there. So yes, we are in fact moving our entire life down to Phoenix, Arizona in search of more opportunity for me and the channel and more vitamin D. I've been doing a lot of bouncing back and forth in between here and Arizona and through those trips I have learned that Arizona has fantastic people, a fantastic car scene, good living costs, plenty of sun, and currently not much traffic with really good paved roads. And for those who don't know, I have lived here in Seattle, Washington my entire life. The area will Will always be home to me but it just rains too much here the weather conditions just aren't good enough for automotive YouTube content I've lived in this exact house for actually four years almost now even though it feels like yesterday when we moved in but the best way that I could put it is that I feel like my life is just ready for this change for a new chapter and hopefully it can be a better one with who knows what Arizona can lead to so with that said that's why we are moving but we have a lot of stuff I probably have have some of the most amount of furniture things cars whatever for uh, your not average I guess 23 year old at this like usually I should have just enough to fill one room but we have a lot more than that and we all got to fit it in one trip in one U-Haul so we're gonna need some help and uh, with my imaginary watch here I think they are landing in very soon what are you doing bro? putting my luggage back here oh yeah, let me just go. No. I'm just go like this. this All right, exactly he's going answer. like this. Yep. I honestly thought you were going to pull up in the U Haul, but. Yeah, it would have been funny to see a big I ass U Haul truck pull up. This actually sucks. Can I put this in the back? Oh my god. <laughs> but go, hurry up, hurry up. Go put it in the back. Zach currently lives back in Arizona. Yeah. So you could call this just one long detour back home. Yeah. Seriously. I'm <laughs> doing one big U Yeah, you're going to help work us yeah. all the way back to where you're from. There's our boy right there. We got the freaking Oregon submarine. You know how they all have different like liveries? Yeah. They always like a different different graphic on the side. Look, oh, the Arizona heck? plate already on it. We're bringing it back to where it's from. Nice. I don't like us having a submarine on the side. You, you think know, it's gonna it. blow up? Yeah. <laughs> it might implode. Take a seat uh, wherever you like. <laughs> We have all the great hospitality here right now. <laughs> Dude, we don't even have a bed for you guys. <laughs> Dude, the, the guest bed that you would sleep in is right here. <laughs> Y'all been going to town, man. Oh, oh. Zills is climbing out here. I feel like before we go any further, the audience has to be introduced into the pets. Every household that has three cats has three personalities. So this is a drama queen, pretty princess. She'll also claw you if you're not, you know, her friend. This is the... Loving one. She's a sweetheart. She's also a dog as she came from outside. This is shady <laughs> And then the last cat that every household has out of the three is the one that's completely sped and crazy and dumb and has absolutely nothing behind those two eyes and that is Zeus right here He is the most crazy little boy, <laughs> but yeah, no the crazy lemur tail with the little spots and everything all, all three are coming with Rooms are getting cleared out and emptied. The office is totally barren and echoey again. I do not recommend ever trying to move and simultaneously vlog at the same time, but we're doing what we can. While she's warming up, you guys can now see that it is dark already and we have spent the entire day loading up the U-Haul back behind me. We have almost everything in there. We just have one final daunting task, and that is getting one of the widest cars from factory onto my flatbed trailer, because I'm gonna be towing my personal baby all the way down to Arizona behind the Raptor. The Mercer Lago is so wide that you can actually remove one of the fenders of the trailer just to get yourself that much extra clearance, and I have to do that, otherwise this car physically will not fit. It's actually, it's the rear, it's the rear tires. The car gets wider as you go to the rear end and we gotta make sure they can clear the sides of this thing. But it's a little damp, so hopefully she wants to grip up and get on here.
Oh shit. This isn't gonna clear. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think you're closer to this side. Yeah, I'm too close to this side. Yeah. Yeah, because right now it's not gonna clear. Yeah, yeah. It gets wider right here, so it's gonna hit this. Yeah, yeah. Now. <laughs> Back and forth. Yeah, straight this way. Is it gonna clear there? Yes. Yeah, you should clear. You're good. You're good. Stop. The clutch actually, like, I mean, I'm sure it didn't like it, and I'm sure I lost some life there, but it, it performed a lot better than I thought because I was able to make incremental movements without it, like, slipping or the car just launching off the train. Yeah, okay, that really shows how tight it is because it, it, I mean, we're not bad on this side because we don't have the wheel wheels on here. Over here is a lot closer. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tight. Thank Lord that V12 Lambos come with front lift because we actually have marginal. I'm almost tempted. You could lower the front lift, honestly. This car is so tedious and crazy because not only does it barely fit on the trailer just width wise. Check this out. When I feed the strap in, because you have to basically get it through the wheel. Now, this is actually not a Mercilago specific issue. This is more of just any car that runs a, oh, what is that? A 3, 335? Look at this, come over here. Oh, it no. literally barely gets oh. in. It barely get like, if, it, if, the, if the tire was any more thicker or beefier, there's no way that that would freaking work. That's insane. This car is just, everything just barely fits. Everything barely works. Well, 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 by the sounds of that, you guys are hearing an echo as we have fully emptied out the house. It really does feel like yesterday when I got to experience this echo for the first time when the house was empty and we were moving in back in August of 2020. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of bittersweet. Like, I'm so excited for the next chapter, but this is my first house. This is the first property I've, I've ever owned. Also, you guys must say your temporary goodbyes to the S2000. Uh, she's gonna be staying here for, I don't know how long, but definitely by the end of summer, everything will be down there. But for now, this is a later issue, seeing as my flatbed trailer only can fit one car. She'll be reappearing very soon. Anyways, on that note, we must get a good night's rest for the big drive tomorrow. So, uh, I'm gonna go hit the, hit the hay right here. Good morning and say hello to the Jack Ultra Motive Convoy. We have the Raptor, we have the pumpkin behind the Raptor, we have Haley in her RAV. She's gonna be a support vehicle and she's got the pets. Zeus! What up, boy? And then there's Shady and uh, Zills is somewhere else. And then we have the longest U-Haul right up in here. We have the support crew. He got roll down windows. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Old school. Even though this is a pretty new truck. Like it has the same yeah. new steering wheel as my Raptor and everything. U-Haul's been upgrading. Justin's got his Starbucks out there. Justin's gonna be our support person bouncing around passenger seats on whoever needs it. We have 12 hours to go down to Sacramento, California. That's gonna be our first stop, our one stop. And then from there on out, we will go straight to Arizona. My baby, where it is, there it is. There's LeMay Automotive Museum. If you guys don't know, that is where the R32 GTR has been kept recently. It is on display at LeMay. And of course, that is the other car that we unfortunately cannot bring down simultaneously right now. But it'll, it'll get down there to Arizona as well. But no rush going into the Arizona summer season where the RB26 definitely probably will overheat during midday uh, runs out there. You already know, only us would get rollers with the moving truck and the Raptor and the Lambo all together. My entire life is out on the road. You gotta get one photo to capture it all.
guys have ever done a big move throughout your life to somewhere far where everything you ever had was all packed up comment down below if you have and where it was too it is truly a surreal feeling just knowing that you are following the truck that has your entire life stored in it especially when we're going through a twisty pass right now as the uh, weather and rain starts pouring down on us there is a lot of this that can make you very anxious and uh, excited at the same time. Zach's in charge of driving the U-Haul, the behemoth. What is it like? I mean, honestly, I had I, I thought it would be harder. Yeah. But, but it's definitely still hard. Like up hills, you gotta like put it it's down. It's just here. all the way down yep. to the floor. Literally. Guess what year this U-Haul is? They all kind of look the same. Like a 2016 or something like that. 2016 is a good guess. It's newer than that. Newer. Yeah, it's newer than 2016. 2018. Newer. What the? 2020? <laughs> Newer! What? 2022. Yes! What ding, 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 ding. So, on the side I in would here, never guess that. this is a freaking, yeah, 2022 year. This is a Ford F650 that they donated for the powertrain, at least, and the front of it all. The rusted out wheels definitely don't do it any justice. F <laughs> and then I think all work vehicles just kind of come with a very base interior because they know it's just going to get damaged over time. But very unsuspecting brand new truck. So we're, we're the Oregon State. Which one's this one? Oh, Canada, Saskatchewan. And on top of, I'm sure, whatever pounds they all have filled in there, they're towing a whole truck. And not only that, they have the puppies in the ranger yeah could you imagine i think that'd be game changing imagine this behind a u-haul truck no matter what your average person that has a Mercilago isn't even gonna have it out in the open it's probably gonna be enclosed in some shape or form but you're on the ultra motive channel we're giving people a show on the road it's cool because yeah as i'm like just driving my f-150 I'm getting people like thumbs up and like freaking peace signs and all this stuff because we're we're in an F-150 but in the embodiment with a Lamborghini attached to it. You know you're in California when boom! <laughs> The refrigerator has overtaken us, baby. <laughs> Is the window even open? Yeah. It's so clear, I can't tell. <laughs> <Hi. just stopped here in the middle of the road oh wait they're gonna be a oh is that some like oh we got we can't move the vehicles because we got to keep the state of the scene exactly to how it was so that we could file the police report on the rear end collision or something like that because uh, like <laughs> judging the criteria of that rear end situation both cars were still fully drivable especially the audi that got rear-ended that was sitting parked with hazards on in the front so it's like why would you guys just sit there blocking the entire lane that held us up for the last like freaking 15 minutes and just sit in the middle of the road cause all of that for like what it's like do you not understand that a car can still probably drive with some damage here and there or is it like you got to keep this i don't know what is this this looks like a land rover but i've never seen this before what is that comments do your thing This 
has been definitely on one of the longer ends of our road trip travels being 22 hours in two days and I'm sure some people wonder and may want an insight to what do I do when I'm on the road all this time because you guys can't really tell watching an edited video but obviously stuff out here it gets boring just cruising so I'll give you guys the rundown starting out snack of choice the airhead rainbow bites these are always a banger and if I want candy that's what I go to I listen to a mix of podcasts and music so podcasts of choice can range anywhere from Joe Rogan to Doug DeMiro to the smoking tire I mean I tend to be a little more entertained by automotive related stuff however it's a little more enlightening to uh, listen to some of the deep talks that Joe Rogan will have with various scientists and whatnot on there. Music is of course going to be EDM. Those who follow me on Instagram know that we attend festivals like Ultra and EDC, but here's a list of some of the artists including Chami, Odd Mob, Martin Garrix. Purely EDM for 22 hours straight can definitely be a lot, so of course I'll listen to various rap, old school throwbacks, rock, you know, whatever. I'm pretty open-minded to a lot of different genres, but definitely EDM has stuck with me all these years. But Towing the big old heavy pumpkin, we've been averaging around 12.9 MPG, which is definitely worse than the already bad Gen 2 Raptor MPG. And we are out here somewhere in the desert, about to enter in to Arizona. We got Haley in the RAV, we got the mega U-Haul, and we have made it to the desert out here with better paved roads, open freeways, absolute heaven for my cars to live. Two days, 22 hours, every single thing all packed up, we have made it here, and you guys may or may not notice that we are not actually at the crib that we're moving into. We're at Zach's place again, and that is just because obviously it is already pretty late at night getting here, and the house that we would be going to is entirely empty, and we would have no place to sleep or stay, and obviously we're not about to start unloading the thing at 10 p.m. So we're gonna have one last night here at Zach's place, which also has the Exorcist in there as well. It's in good company right now with a manual C6 Stingray. We got the Chevy Garage. But yeah, we have three vehicles, the Raptor, the Mercy, and the Z01 already all checked off in the Phoenix area. So tomorrow is officially move in day, but this is where I'm going to end this video. You guys can look forward to and tune in next when I basically reveal the place and give you guys a full tour and rundown of it. But I'm going to save all of the moving in and uh, unloading all of our stuff or off camera just because it's, it's a lot of work to try and document and uh, do the move process at the same time. So this this is going to be our ending point because I mean we basically completed the journey getting all of our stuff down here so as always thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the house reveal this is going to be Jack Ultra Motive signing this vlog off <laughs>